Austin Whaler was originated by Dick Fisher sometime in the early 50s. He was reading a magazine, a uh, popular mechanics magazine, about a couple of new components. One was called fiberglass and the other one was called styrofoam. Fisher did some engineering with it and created what we now have as our Unibond construction, which is a full bottom or hull. And what makes Whaler unique is the inner liner. He marries those two pieces with a special process weld and then completely fills the core with the polyurethane foam, making it unsinkable. You could cut that boat into a hundred pieces and every single one of those would float. He wasn't trying to start a boat company to go sell a bunch of boats. He was building something for himself, and he was doing it with cutting edge materials and new thoughts and new innovation, uh, trying some things that nobody had ever tried. And we do that today. The brand moved from Rockland, Mass. on around 1987, uh, moving to Florida. Since that time, this entire campus has evolved into one of the premier boat building facilities in the world. We're taking a refined design concept and all the ideas from our industrial design team and we're bringing it to life. So we're doing the naval architecture, we're doing the structural engineering, we're working with suppliers and developing all the component parts, doing all the fiberglass tooling. In fact, how we build things, even though technology and some materials have changed, is very similar to the first boat that Dick Fisher built in 1958. It's a boat that's handcrafted uh, and, and the, the employees really take pride in what they're doing. The pillars of the brand, you know, the safety, the quality, the reliability have stayed consistent. And that's what you would like to see through changes in leadership. This is a company that's persevered over a lot of years with different leadership and different people in all the key positions. And I think that speaks to the culture of the business. It transcends any individual person, any individual group in any individual strategy or, or thought we might be working on. Everything we do in product development evolves around the customer. This is uh, actually my seventh Boston Whaler. I grew up with a friend that had a 13-foot Whaler. The boat was bought in 1967. It's now J-Days. We look at how can we give people a better overall experience on the water while they're using our product. The fact that they're the safest boats on the water uh, the, the amount of innovation we bring and the level of engineering we bring with it makes it like no other boat on the water. By far, they are the safest boat, uh, in my opinion, the most highly engineered boat. When I first started, it was very much looking at what's the competition doing. We've evolved over time to have the competition in the corner of our eyes, but we're never staring straight at them. We're always staring straight towards the future. Being a product leader as our strategy uh, means creating and introducing into the market the most innovative product. It makes the rest of the industry look at us and say, wow, what's Boston Whaler going to do next? Boston Whaler is iconic. I think Boston Whaler is the past, but it's also so much of the future.